A plea tonight from a Green Bay mother who says her dead daughter's ashes were stolen from her home. She says she desperately wants them back. Why they were taken, however, is still unclear, and police say they are not investigating the incident. Fox 11's Lou Hillman has our balanced coverage tonight. Things are tough right now for Amy Nelson. This is where I came out to get help with the police. The 36-year-old is facing eviction, fighting for custody of her seven children. And to top it off, last week, she says her dead daughter's ashes were stolen from her home. It was hard enough to lose her, but this is, this is, um, this is just unnecessary and cruel. Nelson's daughter, Marissa, died in 1999. At just the age of four, she suffered a fatal asthma attack. She was everything. She was so strong. She was everything I wished that I could be. For 10 years, Nelson has carried with her two things, the pain of losing Marissa and Marissa's ashes. They are in a big, beautiful ceramic heart container. With she says she's not ready to let go of her daughter, which is why she is desperate to get the ashes back. According to Nelson, it all started early Friday morning. Oh, but this door was kicked in. Nelson says she and some friends had stayed up until almost five in the morning. Soon after they fell asleep, Nelson says two other people tried to break into the home. When police arrived, they arrested 20-year-old Kayla Kletchka for criminal damage to property and 24-year-old DeAndre Blunston for resisting an officer and cocaine possession. Nelson says she was hit in the head during the break-in and taken to the hospital. Police say at the time, Nelson was uncooperative and hard to understand. When she returned to her home hours later, Nelson claims it was ransacked and a number of her things were missing. Money, prescription drugs, and her daughter's ashes. Nelson says she may know who took them, but contends she has no idea why anyone would want to. Everyone that knows me knows my daughter died and knows her ashes are here. People that don't, want, don't know me wouldn't know that. I don't know who took them. There are many questions, however, about who may have had access to the home. Nelson says friends were staying with her because she was scared to spend the night alone. But police records paint a completely different picture of what was going on at the property. Officers have responded to the Elm Street home repeatedly for late night and early morning disturbances and noise complaints. In fact, this month alone, police have been called to Nelson's home six times for a variety of disturbances. Now, the spokesperson for the Green Bay Police Department would not go on camera for our story, but he did tell me on the phone, investigators are not searching for Marissa's ashes. Nelson says she filed a theft report, but police just don't care. Green Bay Police Department is well aware of this incident, and we'll just see. She admits it is likely someone she knows who took the ashes. Nelson is just praying that they return her beloved Marissa. In Green Bay, Lou Hillman, Fox 11 News. As Lou mentioned, we spoke with Nelson's landlord, who tells us he is trying to evict her from the property. Nelson's seven children continue to live with her parents. Nelson says she's focused on turning her life around and would mean the world to her if the ashes are returned.